Welcome back everyone, my name is Patrick. Today I will be beginning my Edmonton Oilers 2023-2024 team rundown by going over the forwards. If this is your first visit to the channel, or if you haven't had a chance to do so in a previous visit, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. Here's a look at the forward group, courtesy of Cap Friendly, as of May 21st, 2023. The Oilers have eight forwards currently under contract for the upcoming season. Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, Zach Hyman, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Evander Kane, Kyler Yamamoto, Warren Fogel, and Dylan Holloway. The following players are restricted free agents. Ryan McLeod and Clem Costin. And the following players are unrestricted free agents. Derek Ryan, Matthias Janmark, Devin Shore, and Nick Bugstad. We are still awaiting an official answer as to how much cap space the Oilers will have, but here are my early predictions for which players are back next season. Current speculation suggests Kyler Yamamoto may be moved, so we will see what happens there. I have Ryan McLeod, Clem Costin, and Derek Ryan returning. I'm predicting Matthias Janmark, Devin Shore, and Nick Bukestad leave as free agents. If the Oilers are able to free up some money, they may be able to keep one of Janmark or Bukestad and it's also possible that Devin Shore gets a two-way contract, spending most of his time in Bakersfield. Here's a look at the current Bakersfield Condors roster. Players like Xavier Borgo, Raphael Lavoie, Noah Philp, and James Hamlin will challenge for roles on the main roster. Lavoie and Philp are both restricted free agents that need to be re-signed, but I don't foresee any issues in getting those deals done. Tyler Benson has never been able to crack the Oilers roster on a consistent basis, and he's now set to become an unrestricted free agent. This could be the end of the line for him with the Oilers organization. With all that said, here's my projected roster for the 2023-2024 Edmonton Oilers. I have a new arrival coming in for the top six and Kyler Yamamoto departing. I'm predicting Connor Brown is signed as his replacement, but an internal solution like Dylan Holloway is also a possibility. I have Dylan Holloway and Noah Philp securing full-time roles with the team, and I have James Hamlin taking over for Devon Shore as the 13th forward. And as I mentioned earlier, I have Janmark, Shore, and Bugstad all departing as free agents. Not a knock against any of those guys. I liked all their contributions. I just think they end up being victims of limited cap space. In my next team rundown video, I'll take a look at the defense and goaltending. Let me know what you guys think of my predictions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's content and you're looking for more, please like and subscribe for everything Oilers. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.